A question by Anna. Uh, she says, how, uh, how do you prepare or how do I prepare my team before the workshop, a custom journey mapping workshop, what kind of homework should I give them? Uh, customer journey mapping is a lot about co-creation, workshops, sessions. Uh, mm -hmm. So Daniel, what is your experience? How do you prepare people for that? I think it's good to give them kind of a homework or a kind of heads up or something in, in before to think about journeys. Uh, it could be simple things that like buying a coffee or going to the cinema or something. What, what are your journey there? Uh, or when people came to this session, uh, what did you experience? What was were your journey uh, coming here? Um, I also think it's good to maybe prepare people on good journeys and bad journeys. Could you take? Can you bring on some examples from your own life? Um, I also think it's good to to ask people to not think that they are coming with solutions <laughs> because i think usually that's a problem in many workshops that people think that they they have a lot of ideas and now they have the chance to yeah. <laughs> to give those ideas that's why i think it's really good to always start all workshops with have some a kind of a parking lot for ideas that write all the good ideas that you have bring, brought with you and then we put them up here so we could just leave them yeah. and go on. Because yeah. maybe those ideas are excellent in the future, but we have to do the, the work first and then bring on the ideas. Yeah. Um, but I, I also think it's good for people to think connected to, yeah, the KPIs, the goals. To, what are the goals, the important goals? This, this year, this quarter? Um, I yep. think that's a good yeah. gives a good uh, <clears throat> starting I, point. And I, I, when we do customer journey mapping workshops, we sort of always um, make people do homework or give homework assignments, and it has two reasons. Why um, you actually can start um, doing research, you, you actually can get data out of it that you can use in the session. Mm, and the mm. other thing that happens, like you already mentioned, is you're getting people in the mindset of the mm, of the mm. journey already. So you can mm. uh, move much quicker through the session mm. because people are already a little bit aligned and know what they will be talking about. So, yeah, getting people in the mindset and sort of doing research at the same time, um, I would always recommend to give some kind of homework. Mm. I think there is a... I, I, I totally agree. I think there is another thing that, that people sometimes forget with workshops, and that is that when when people disappear a day from a, um, um, a, a team or something in the organization, they need a good story for their colleagues to, to explain why did they go there. And I think usually the people inviting for to this workshop they don't don't think about that they don't they don't understand that this is marketing of what we are doing to give them a really good story. Why am I away a day here? Yeah, and that's yeah. A, that's a really good tip. Yeah, so what, what a, give them a good story, give them an excuse. <laughs> yeah, we're going to create the world's best customer experience here, and I'm going to be participating there uh, uh, one day. To, mm, to, mm. to do that. So mm. that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good tip. Uh, we have uh, never thought of that actually.